this is Dash from Bloom Where You're Planted, and this is so exciting, you guys. I'm out here looking at my squash, and this just isn't any squash. I did some different varieties this year, and they are rocking. Um, you will understand when I say the squash vine borer is my nemesis, and I have been fighting that insect every year, every squash season, and I have been losing, trying lots of, lots of different methods. Um, and these varieties are beating the squash vine borer. So, I'll show you how. Okay, look at this squash stem. It looks worn out and eaten up by the squash vine borer, but what I'm finding is that the stem is too solid for the squash vine board to get up into this main stem of the plant. So what it's doing is it's coming into these side shoots. And so these are dying, big deal. And the plant lives on. Well, I found the culprit. It was going up a stem there. So, now I've gotten that. Cover this old worn out stem with compost. Put some under there in case it wants to root some more. So I cleaned up the stem and I put a mixture of cow manure and potting soil on it on all of these and I am so impressed with what I'm seeing the squash vine borer does not seem to be able to defeat this plant easily I think because the stem is just a little bit thicker than regular zucchini so this kind that I'm doing is eight ball zucchini and then further down the row I'm doing poquito squash so I will put a link down below in the video description on the names and links to where I got these seeds for these varieties. Look at that, you guys. That is going to be delicious. We've gotten tons of those. Look at this, you guys. This is my first rampicante squash. Zucchino Rampincate, I think I'll say it. I will write it down below and leave a description on where you can find the seeds. I got them from Baker's Creek Heirloom Seeds. And this, let it grow a little bit more. Look at all that food that's going to be. It tastes just like a zucchini. I use it just like a zucchini. I put it in stir fry dishes. I make zucchini patties out of them. I love it. So, um, it does take, it's a climber. I mean, it's a beast. So better to go up with it for sure. So I'm loving my new tunnel trellis, you guys. Um, the other thing is it takes a little longer to mature than the regular squash. Um, it might be a good idea to do some regular squash, like enterprise squash, yellow squash. It's gonna come, something that's gonna come to fruit really early. And you know that the squash vine borer is gonna get it. So you get that early fruit done with those plants and have this somewhere else in your garden this is going to develop a little bit later and be resistant to the squash vine borer let me show you the other one that I really like that's climbing up my tunnel trellis all right you guys this is the other kind I really like it's called tatume squash you can see the little fruits it produces I'm gonna let this one get a little bit bigger before I pick it but it also has tendrils for climbing so it's great on this trellis and definitely doing a lot better against the squash vine borer than normal zucchini squash so I am super psyched about these varieties you guys this zucchini rampancante I can tell that the squash vine borer has been here right there the stem is a mess but it rocks on same, the same with this tatume. I can tell the squash iron boar has been here and here. 
and there are even old patches that it's wooded over that it's been but up here same vine we have fruit so yeah I'm ex definitely excited about these amazing varieties like I said I will list them all so you guys can get in on this action and this is Dallas Fort Worth I always like to try to say where I am in the video because sometimes I would watch gardening videos and I would think oh that's gonna be really neat I can do that and then they were in California or Oregon just totally different than my climate and it wouldn't work where I am so every single video I like to say I'm in Dallas Fort Worth because um, I want you guys to know that you know it might work for you oh heroes here they come. We'll let them get on their way. The other squash I am loving is this Desi squash. And I will put a link below for that. I got it from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds also. Let me show you the fruit that it produces. And the stem, I can tell it's got squash vine borer, but the plant rocks on. So we'll see. I'm really loving this one. Let me show you the fruit. Look at that, you guys. Beautiful. And super tasty. But it also seems to be sprawling out this direction, which is awesome. Maybe if the squash vine board gets it there, it will set, set roots here. So let's put some compost on it. While we're talking about squash, I wanted to talk to you about the squash bug. It is also a terrible enemy of mine. Not quite as bad as the squash vine borer because the squash vine borer, when it, it just bores in the base of the plant, you never even see it coming and your plant is just dead one day. So that is so frustrating to me. But squash bugs, as the summer heat comes in, your plant just doesn't have the resistance. It's not as strong and the squash bugs just multiply and they just take it out. And what they do is they suck the life out of it. <laughs> so we've got it on two fronts here in Dallas, Texas. We've got the squash vine borer coming in at the stem, gonna kill the plant from the inside out. And then we've got the squash bugs sucking the life out of it. So it's so, it really is hard to grow squash sometimes for the home gardener. But there's hope. Let me show you what you can do, some different things that you can do. All right, what I'm going to do is spray my squash plant so that the bugs will come up, the squash bugs will come up to get dry on the leaves in the sunshine. Oh, and I've got a desi squash. Yum. Okay, so here they come. Here's one right here. So what you can do is just pick it off and drop it into a bit of soapy water. Now I used to just grab them and squish them in my fingers. A lot of gardeners, you know, wouldn't want to do that, but it stinks. And, and it actually made, last year, made the skin on my fingers peel off. I mean, it's really corrosive, this stuff. One year I picked them all from the community garden and I was gonna go give them to my chickens and my chickens didn't even want them. They would not eat them. So yeah, that would have been very satisfying. <laughs> but the eggs might have tasted funny, huh? So I don't know. But there is one other method. Say you don't even wanna touch them. <laughs> you don't even wanna pick them off. Let me show you what to do. I just filled this spray bottle up with water and I just put about a teaspoon of Dawn dishwash soap in it. And you can just spray these little buggers and it does kill them. Okay, here's one. Let's spray him down with our dish soap concoction. See what happens. I'm gonna get him, put him right here so we can see. And he is dead. Look at that. 
soaps, that Dawn dish soap just took him right out. Now if you use this method, you want to be a little bit careful because Dawn dishwashing soap is a powerful thing and it can burn some plants like peppers, tomatoes, so don't go spraying it willy-nilly. Just get your squash bug and move on. Or you can pick them off. I do not have very many right now. So my self-rising flower might be working. I just put some self-rising flower. I have a little makeup brush and I just brush it on the leaves. Of course, I need to wait for it to dry up a bit. But um, yeah, could be, we haven't had, we had really good cool weather, I mean pretty cool weather and a lot of rain for this time of year. A lot more rain than usual. So that could be contributing. The plant is just stronger. There's just not as many of them. Um, so, or this could be working. So jury's still out. Let me keep trying it and I'll let you guys know. Stay tuned. Self rising flower, please let me know if you've tried it and it works for you. So, all right. I just don't have that many squash bugs. Yay. Usually this time of year, it's, it's just covered. I mean, just teeming with them. And this is, it might be the variety also, Desi squash. Maybe they just don't like it as much. So, that's awesome. All right, what else was that going to tell you guys? Oh yeah, if you see eggs, tape is your friend. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the tape. And wrap it around my hand so the outside, the sticky side is on my hand like this. And then I'm just going to look over my bush and if I find eggs, I'm just going to pick them up with the tape. Okay, here's some eggs right here. I'm just gonna pick them up with my tape. See, just like that. And I can just go dispose of this. So those are all some ways you can fight the good fight against the squash bug this summer and get a great harvest of squash for your family to eat. Happy gardening and homesteading. Bye now.